Ferrovial, one of the main infrastructure groups worldwide with extensive wide-ranging experience in the railway sector, has participated in the construction of the high-speed track for the Olmedo to Pedralba section of the Madrid to Galicia line. We performed all the necessary processes, from asphalt treatments for the track bed, to laying the track and junctions until the track was in handover condition after the second stabilized leveling. In other words, ready for trains to run and for commercial use. The initial works included the construction of primary and secondary monuments with forced centering. These are used as a reference in land surveying for all the construction phases in the project and also for maintenance and operation purposes. The sleepers were then distributed along the sides of the track bed in packages of seven units. Before the sleepers were put into position, the ballast bed was spread with the specific machinery Ferrovial has adapted for that purpose. Trucks took ballast from the stockpiles to the spreader, which then spread and compacted it using a vibrating table. In the same process, the spreader used a metal tool to mark a groove along the center line of each track to avoid damaging the sleepers once they were in position, in case they received central loads. Next, the sleepers were placed every 60 centimeters using a hydraulic grab in such a way that their distance from each other and alignment were close to their definitive position in preparation for the later laying of the skeleton track. Once the sleepers were in position, one of the more technical activities in the process could begin. This was the direct unloading of the rail in bars 270 meters long from the rail carrier onto the sleepers. The system we used, comprising rollers, flanges and a drawbar pull bulldozer we developed at Ferrovial, made it possible to completely lay, square and anchor 4,050 meters of single track per day. As the rail carrier was completely unloaded during this procedure, the sleepers were squared using machinery we have developed and patented at Ferrovial. This plant has considerably improved our performance to date. Next, the track was anchored with a tightening torque regulations require. The track was then ready for ballasting and initial tamping until it was in prior handover condition after first leveling. After using the heavy plant for railway lines that Ferrovial owns to reach the prior handover condition, the aluminothermic welding started. The junctions were then installed for the sidings, crossovers, passing loops, stations, forks, etc. Expansion devices were also placed in those structures requiring them. Finally, the track reached its definitive state after the last tamping and neutralization, as well as the last sweeping of the track center and profiling of the ballast borders and track gauges. Ferrovial owns a number of specific railway machines to lay track and junctions. Our plant yard includes six tamper liners, four universal points and crossing tampers, four stabilizers, three mobile cranes, seven ballast regulators, one rail carrier, one drawbar pull bulldozer, two track squaring machines, four locomotives, and 10 ballast hoppers. We can therefore guarantee to provide our construction and maintenance service using our own plant. At Ferrovial, our Research, Development and Innovation Department is involved in all our construction projects. This philosophy was also present in this project, in which we developed and implemented several innovations that enabled us to perform far better than the usual standards for this type of work. The completion of this project has added yet another string to Ferrovial's bow. 
Our extensive experience in this sector makes us stand out as one of the main references for the construction and redevelopment of railway centres, workshops, industrial units, shunting yards, renovations, new lines and track maintenance in Spain and the rest of the world. Ferrovial views each project as a lasting and valuable contribution to mankind. That's why we aim to produce quality infrastructures that respect the environment and fully meet our clients' requirements. This also helps us to maximize the value for our shareholders, grow our human capital and improve society.